Live from the station that's in your corner, you're watching Fox 4 Morning News. Well, every good comic book hero begins with an origin story, right? In Ohio, a mild-mannered retiree is emerging from the world of nuclear power with some pens and a passion for storytelling. Jordan Vanderberg has this epic tale. There are careers and then there are callings. And for Keith Harris of Twinsburg... I just kind of fell in love with it. One followed the other. We want to make comic books not just for us, but for future generations. Like a hero in any comic, the story has to start somewhere. A lifelong entrepreneur, Harris founded a company that supplied hard-to-find parts to nuclear power plants. It paid the bills, sure, but it wasn't a passion per se. His retirement didn't last long. When I actually stepped away from that, I had no clue life was so boring. <laughs> when you don't have anything in particular to do. Even before Harris was an entrepreneur, he had an obsession, comic books. At the advice of his wife, I'm not an artist, I can't draw a straight line. He finally put pen and plan to paper. I grew up a kid in East Cleveland buying comic books, never had a comic book with a character anywhere in the area that I knew of. Future Gen Comics went from a sketch to a startup. Harris has brought on a team of artists, mostly from Northeast Ohio, and began creating a universe of tightly woven storylines. Now we really feel we have a dream team of artists and writers and we're, we're ready to break out. Here's the plot twist though. Future Gen Comics doesn't produce actual comic books. Instead, they're digital. And in some cases, Future Gen will develop comic books and characters for other people. One of their first clients. They have a gallery of artwork in their offices. The LeBron James Family Foundation. I kind of wanted a, a superhero for kids who grew up like I grew up in the inner city. You'd see characters in New York and L.A. and D.C. and all those things, but I never saw a character in Cleveland. There are careers and then there are callings. And seated next to his lifelong passion, Harris now has both. And Mr. Harris says he's planning for what he hopes is an in-person launch of Future Gen Comics in August. I love that he's following his passion, and you know what? Yeah. It's never too old to switch things up. I, I keep hearing that, and as I get older, I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> I, I think I'm just going to keep doing weather for well, a little while. Well, you're really good at it, and it's your passion, so stick with well, it. So far, so good. <laughs>